بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر بیک ود لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی فائیو فار انگلش کمپریہنشن اینڈ کمپوزیشن بفور وی موو آن لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ دی آبجیکٹوز آف ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ٹو ڈے وی آر موونگ آن ٹو ای میل رائٹنگ اینڈ وی ول ڈسکس واٹ ای میلز آر واٹ آر دا بیسکس آف این ای میل اینڈ ٹپس فار رائٹنگ افیکٹو ای میلز دیز آر تھری ویری امپارٹنٹ ڈیٹیلڈ تھنگس دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ٹو ڈے ان دس لیکچر اینڈ دس از امپارٹنٹ فار اسٹوڈنٹس آف ٹو ڈے بیکاز دے ہیو ٹو کمیونیکیٹ ود دیئر ٹیچرس دیئر دیئر فیلو کلاس میٹس اینڈ ایون سم ٹائمس دیئر فرینڈس تھرو ای میل سو دے شوڈ نو know how to go about it how to actually compose an email as it is uh, an electronic uh, correspondence so um, uh, every person uh, needs to know some basic technicalities about it as well so that's everything that we are going to discuss here today uh, in lecture number 25 Let's move on and discuss what is an email. Uh, a system for sending and receiving messages electronically over a computer network as between personal computers. Email basically is uh, another word for electronic mail. Uh, e in email means electronic and electronic mail is a system for sending and receiving messages electronically over a computer network as between personal computers. Now it is a computer network or internet that we use uh, to send uh, an email or to receive an email and uh, you all know uh, that we need an email address for that and all uh, all these technicalities uh, we'll discuss uh, in uh, in a while email is a shorthand uh, term uh, meaning for electronic mail email means electronic mail email is much the same as a letter only that it is exchanged in a different way it is it is almost like a letter you have uh, an address line you have uh, um, the name of a person you are sending uh, the email to and you have the whole body and then uh, the uh, close and all that so it's like a letter but it is exchanged in a different way emails are not sent in a hard copy printed form nahi hoti emails aapko hamesha electronically bhejni hoti hai uska aapke paas record aapke computer mein mailbox mein hota hai aapke paas uska hard form mein record nahi hota unless aap usko print karke apne paas rakhte nahi rakhte hain to the first thing you need to send and receive emails is an email address one uh, important aspect is email address agar aapka email address nahi hai to aap emails receive nahi kar sakte nahi send kar sakte when you create an account with an internet service provider you are usually given an email address to send from and receive emails if this isn't the case you can create an email address or account at websites such as yahoo hotmail or جی میل آپ خود اپنا ای میل اکاؤنٹ بھی بنا سکتے ہیں اور اگر آپ کسی انٹرنیٹ سروس پرووائڈر سے کانٹیکٹ کریں دے کین آلسو پرووائڈ یو این ای میل ایڈریس سو دیٹ یو کین سینڈ اینڈ ریسیو ای میلس Now let's now discuss the anatomy of an email message. Uh, in this image here you can see picture of the new message uh, option that you have in your inbox. When you click on new message or compose message this uh, um, screen opens in front of you, this window opens in front of you in which we have these four fields to start off uh, sending or receiving emails. When you try to send an email uh, you have a from field in which your own email address is written uh, and uh, it, it appears uh, there it is already there because it's your inbox and then you write the two email jisko aapne email send karni hai uska email address likhte hain and then cc uh, and subject cc is the carbon copy we'll discuss the um, uh, technicalities later what cc is aur yahan pe aap likhte hain subject now all these things here are are disabled they they are not working because you have not written anything here as you start writing things here to yahan jaise hi aap click karte hain ye cheeze enable ho jati hain whether you want to um, bold face everything aap italicize karna chahte hain underline karna chahte hain wo sab aap yahan se kar sakte hain uh, and you can cut and paste things as well now that you haven't written anything here abhi tak cut or copy jo options hain ye these are deactivated as soon as you write here something here they are activated you can cut and paste and Uh, move or remove things so uh, this is the anatomy of uh, an email message uh, the header of an email includes the from to cc and subject fields uh, this is called 
the header of an email uh, this particular part this is the header and this includes uh, the uh, from to CC and subject fields so you enter the name and address of the recipient in the from field the name of address of anyone who is being copied to in the CC field and the subject of the message obviously in the subject field up to me like they have a spend they can I'm just say up email career CC field will take a spend they can I'm just go us email key copy jai ghi or subject may us email the subject like then the part below the header of the email is called the body and contains the message now looking back this part is called the body yaha par aap jo bhi aapka jo message hota hai whatever you want to say aap wo likhte hai so this is your email header of email jis mein aapke pas two cc or subject ke fields hota hai or jo body part hota hai jis mein aap message likhte hai then spelling the correct address is critical with an email you have to spell your email address correctly spelling the email address is critical with an email aap kahi koi dot ya comma ki bhi galti kar dete hai ek letter bhi nahi likhte ya idhar udhar kar dete hai to aapka email jo hai wo send nahi hoti like with a normal postal letter if you get the address wrong it won't go to the correct receiver letter writing may be job up koi bhi mail bhi by post bhi bhej rahe hai to if you write the address wrong that uh, post does not is not delivered to the correct receiver so if you send an email to an address which does not exist the message will come back to you as a address unknown error routine now the the message will be will bounce back wo wapas a jayega aapke mailbox mein um, uh, email delivery failed ki ek email a jati hai aapko or address unknown agar aapka wo address registered nahi hai to because aap for example aapka uh, email address tha uh, let's look at this email address uh, editor at internet dash guide dot co dot uk if it was uh, um, somebody's email address you score up message sent career and to up the editor key spelling edit or key jaga er like the air or wo message email address registered in a here to wo email up keep up a saja gi or who was when they took deliver nahi hogi just go up his rate so be very very careful about uh, sending out important uh, urgent emails to correct email addresses because you have to spell your email address extremely extremely correctly if that is wrong your email email will never be delivered in time or bohat sara problem jo hai wo iski wajah se ho sakta hai now let's look at the anatomy of email addresses what email addresses are how are they made or unke kya parts hote hai an email address typically has two main parts editor at internet dash guide dot co dot uk let's look at this email address that was there in the image the first field is the username this is called the username which refers to the recipient's mailbox ye aapke mailbox ko refer karta hai ye aapka personal hota hai ये एट से पहले वाला पोर्शन हर इंसान का इंडिविजुअल हर यूजर uh, का इंडिविजुअल होता है दैट कैन नेवर बी द सेम यू कैन नॉट हैव टू एडिटर एट इंटरनेट डैश गाइड डॉट को डॉट यू के एट द सेम टाइम दैट सिंपली कैन नॉट हैपन आप एडिटर uh, के स्पेलिंग बदल दें तो वो डिफरेंट हो सकता है लेकिन एक ही यूजर नेम के दो ई मेल एक ही डोमेन में नहीं हो सकते सो दिस इज द नेम ऑफ बेसिकली योर मेल बॉक्स देन देर इज द साइन एट विच इज द सेम इन एवरी ई मेल एड्रेस वी वी कॉल इट एट इन द शॉर्ट फॉर्म बट इट इज बेसिकली एट द रेट ऑफ देन कम्स द होस्ट नेम इंटरनेट गाइड this is the host name internet guide uh, some email addresses do not have a host name they simply move over to the next part which can also be called the domain name host name can also be called the domain name this refers to the mail server address most usually having an individual ip address the final part of an email address includes the top level domain for the above address this is co.uk this can be uh, there can be countless many domains um, uh, all over the internet you can make as many email addresses on different domains as possible ek uh, domain par different emails banane ke liye you need different usernames for example some people have three hotmail email addresses uh, that too with different uh, um, 
domain names. For the above address, this is co.uk, which is for commercial sites based in the United Kingdom. Or uh, UK, jo hai wo, um, end mein aata hai, mostly countries ke naam aur initials jo hai wo end mein hote. Now, one very important thing to note here is ke aapke email addresses mein almost sare letters, in fact sare letters small case mein hote. Uh, that is uh, the uh, small letters of the alphabet. Ye bohat kam aisa hota hai ki ye uh, uh, capital mein ho ya mostly nahi hote hai. So your email address, one very important thing is that it is in the smaller letters. Now moving on to a very important document about writing effective emails. As I told you in the objectives part that we are going to talk about writing effective emails today. Uh, in, in, in this part, uh, we are going to discuss what are the important uh, tips that you need to follow to have your emails effectively written. Because um, most of the students or um, the users of English, when they start writing an email, they just uh, uh, make it um, they, they are confused for as, as as to the purpose of that email and when it is supposed to be formal they make it informal uh, they uh, they use language that is not appropriate so it's good that you go through this document and it will help you understand why uh, or how you make uh, or compose effective emails uh, let's start making sure your messages get read and acted upon do people respond to your emails in the way you want them to or do they seem to ignore them or miss important information and are you sure that you are making the best possible impression with your emails now you have to ask yourself these questions before uh, knowing whether you are an effective email writer or not by now you might have sent hundreds of emails to uh, your friends to your uh, uh, colleagues to your um, classmates as a student you must have more than one email addresses you must be uh, using uh, um, the internet and the message inbox or email inbox uh, since a very long time this is not a new concept for you so you need to ask yourself these three very important questions that do people respond to your emails in the way you want them to whether uh, you can communicate your thoughts in a better way that they respond to them or do they seem to ignore them or miss important information ya kuch aisa hota hai ki aapki email uh, emails ko log padhte nahi hai ya ignore kar dete hain and are you sure that you are making the best possible impression on your uh, readers jinko aap email send kar rahe hain aap achhi emails bhejte hain ya nahi ye aapko apne aap se questions karne and then your uh, answers of these questions will come uh, from this document यहाँ पर हम वो चीज़ें पढ़ेंगे जिस जो आप अपनी एक्सपीरियंस पे अप्लाई करके यू कैन सी वेदर यू डू दिस और नॉट इफ़ यू डोंट यू हैव टू इनकॉर्पोरेट दिस इन योर ईमेल राइटिंग सो दैट पीपल गेट अ गुड इंप्रेशन ऑफ यू एंड यू बिकम अ वेरी गुड ईमेल राइटर व्हेन यू कंपोज एन ईमेल मैसेज देर आर सम सिंपल रूल्स दैट यू कैन फॉलो टू इन्श्योर दैट योर ई मेक्स अ पॉजिटिव इम्प्रेशन and gets you the response you want now while you are composing an email message you are there are some simple rules that you have to follow and that's what we're going to discuss now and those rules can help you make a positive impression on your readers we look at these here and we'll illustrate the points we are talking about with both good and bad examples at the end of each sections now what we're going to do here today is we're going to talk about some important tips for writing good emails and we are going to discuss good and bad examples for both for example when we talk about subject lines or headlines how to write good subject lines we are going to give you a bad example and we are going to give you a good example so that you understand whether you are the one who uses the bad example or the good example taaki aap apne aap ko judge kar sake so, so this document is going to help you provide a self evaluation of your own skills of email writing because email writing is nothing new for you it is just some theoretical basis that we are going to talk about here today practically realistically email is something That is at the fingertips of everyone these days. हर कोई किसी न किसी वजह से कोई ना कोई ईमेल जरूर सेंड या रिसीव कर रहा है आजकल के जमाने में सो यू सिंपली कैन नॉट से दैट ई मेल राइटिंग इज अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट यू जस्ट नीड टू एनहांस योर नॉलेज इन अ वे दैट यू बिकम अ बेटर ई मेल राइटर नाउ द फर्स्ट पॉइंट टू कंसिडर इन दिस रिगार्ड इज सब्जेक्ट लाइन्स आर हेडलाइंस 
whatever your subject is it is supposed to be very communicative in the subject line subject line is something that appears as soon as you open your mailbox and the first thing you read is the sender and the subject line if your subject line is communicative it is attractive it it needs your attention to up definitely uh, wo mail jo hai wo pad ke kholenge aur padhenge of course the sender is important agar aapke boss ki taraf se email aa rahi hai to you will definitely open it and then if your students are sending you emails you will open and check what the problem is and then if your teacher uh, is sending an email to you or uh, uska टाइटल है असाइनमेंट डेड लाइन दैट वुड बी अ काइंड ऑफ अ डेंजरस साइन फॉर यू सो यू विल डेफिनेटली ओपन दैट ई मेल एंड रीड इट सो दीज वर जस्ट फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट लाइन बींग हेडलाइन अ न्यूज पेपर हेडलाइन हैज टू फंक्शन इट ग्रैब्स योर अटेंशन एंड इट टेल्स यू वट द आर्टिकल इज अबाउट now when you compare a headline uh, talk about a headline your newspaper headlines have two advantages they have two functions that they grab your attention and they tell you what the article is about instead of reading your the article sometimes you only read the headline and you understand what the news is so that's how your email headline should be your email subject line should be as communicative as the newspaper headlines as इट शुड टेल यू वट द ई मेल इज़ अबाउट आपको बिल्कुल एग्जैक्टली वही मैसेज जो आप ई मेल में लिख रहे हैं उसे क्रिस्प करके शॉर्ट करके हेडिंग की फॉर्म में सब्जेक्ट लाइन में लिखना होता है ताकि रीडर जो है जिसको ई मेल मिल रही है वो सब्जेक्ट लाइन पढ़ के ई मेल पढ़ने में इंटरेस्टेड हो और फाइनली आप अपनी ई मेल खोल के वो पढ़ें email subject lines need to do exactly the same thing use a few well chosen words so that the recipient knows at a glance what the email is about if your message is one of a regular series of emails such as a weekly project report include the date in the subject line and for a message that needs a response you might want to include a call to action such as please reply by november 7 ye bhi aap add kar sakte hain there is nothing wrong with that aap subject line mein jo bhi important action karwana chahte hain apne receiver se वो आप सब्जेक्ट लाइन में मेंशन कर सकते हैं सो uh, दैट so जब वो अपना मेल बॉक्स खोलें और सब्जेक्ट लाइन उनके सामने डिस्प्ले हो अनरेड मैसेजेस में तो वो फौरन उसको पढ़ें बिकॉज दे नो दैट इट वुड बी अर्जेंट रिमेंबर दैट everyone tries to reduce the amount of spam email messages they receive if you make appropriate use of the subject line you increase the ch chances that your email will be read rather than mistaken for spam and deleted without so much as a glance now your uh, your subject line is supposed to be very communicative aajkal uh, spam uh, email ka problem hai people have made separate uh, folders for spam email or filters lagaye hue hain jiski wajah se any uh, email that is not from their own contacts is sent to the spam uh, email so make your um, subject line so communicative that the person reads it opens it up and reads it as soon as it is received of course just that just as it would be ridiculous to publish a newspaper without headlines never leave the subject line blank don't ever do that because uh, without a subject line ek email kabhi bhi acha impression jo hai wo nahi chhodti just just the way newspapers have headlines and we simply cannot imagine newspapers without headlines just try to uh, see a newspaper that does not have headlines what would it look like it would be boring it would be useless you'll just throw it away because headlines are things that help you get through the whole newspaper quickly similarly your uh subject lines are supposed to be very very important and never send an email without a subject line these days in uh, uh most of your uh, web browsers or the uh email inboxes that you have uh, when you uh, send uh, click on the send message uh, option uh, without uh, an uh, without a subject line uh, there appears a message that you are about to send this email without a subject line do you want to continue and then you press yes or no always press no and go back and write uh, your subject line email uh, with blank subject lines are usually spam people don't look at them because if you are an unknown uh, sender to them aap kisi ko first time email bhej rahe hain aur wo bhi subject line ke baghair to wo automatically spam consider hogi aur padhi hi nahi jayegi so we have a bad example for this subject meeting 
Hi Jim, I just wanted to remind you about the meeting we have scheduled next week. Do let me know if you have any questions. Best wishes, Mark. Now, what do you think is the problem with this email? Before we go, go over to the good example, let's discuss it. We have subject here as a meeting. It's a good subject, not bad. Let's read uh, the um, email. I just wanted to remind you about the meeting we have scheduled next week. Next week does not tell us at what time next week, when next week. And then do let me know if you have any questions. If you have any questions, what would you do to uh, ask them? You have given no contact information here. There is nothing. You have mark ka koi contact information nahi hai. Email address to aa jayega. Lekin phone number hona chahiye. Yeah, they are your office phone number, or residence or cell number. You you have to give here so that the other person come uh, can get back to you for any questions. So let's look at the good example and see. Um, what is the problem with it and before that we'll analyze what uh, um, uh, were the um, uh, problems with this uh, email usme shortcomings kya thi this email is an example of poor communication for several reasons let's focus on the headline as you can see it's titled meeting why is this a bad headline well there is no information about the meeting if your calendar is full of meetings you might even wonder which one mark is talking about and there is certainly no clarity about the subject or when and where the meetings being held now um, if uh, you are um, working in an environment in which you have regular meetings and such an email with the, uh, the su subject line of meeting would would totally confuse you you look at your calendar calendar and you will see what meeting are is is jim talking about so uh, this uh, subject line is totally uh, uncommunicative it's it's not telling the exact time of the meeting which meeting usko refer nahi kiya hua what's more the lack of specific information makes it look like a spam email this email risks being deleted without being read now lack of specific information is highlighted here next week mein meeting kis waqt hai kab hai kahan hai we have absolutely no idea and then also the tone of the message is that of a friendly reminder there's nothing wrong with that but essential details are missing if jim hasn't heard anything about the meeting or has completely forgotten about it he'll have to write back for more information now um, now this jim person to whom the email has been written agar wo मीटिंग के बारे में बिल्कुल भूल गए हैं तो ही विल हैव टू सेंड बैक एन अदर ई और उसके पूछना पड़ेगा कि हाँ जी कौन सी मीटिंग के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं आप एंड दे हैवन गिवन एनी कॉन्टैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन और फोन पे फोन करके पूछ लेना ऑफ कोर्स वुड बी अलॉट ईजियर लेट्स लुक एट द गुड एग्जाम्पल नाउ नाउ द सेम ई मेल हैज बीन चेंज और इसमें आपको सम कुछ चेंजेस करके सही करके आपको गुड एग्जाम्पल में दिखाई है सब्जेक्ट Reminder of 10 a.m. meeting scheduled 10:05 on pass process. See now, reminder. कि जब आप heading देते हैं, तो everyone of course is interested that they have been reminded about something. And uh, 10 a.m. meeting that is scheduled on uh, uh, in uh, October uh, 5th October on pass process. And the um, agenda or topic of the meeting has also been mentioned. Hi Jim I just wanted to remind you about the meeting we have scheduled for Monday October 5 at 10 a.m. It's being held in conference room A and we'll discuss the new pass process. If you have any questions feel free to get in touch and they have given you the extension 3024 uh, and number is there. See now this uh, email is a lot better than the previous one. so this is how we are going to go about this document we'll talk about one particular element of an email uh, a tip or how to write an effective email we'll uh, have a bad example and we'll have a good example so how specific this new headline is now let's analyze that our new headline is reminder of 10 am meeting scheduled october 5 on pass process and the great thing about this headline is that the reader does not even have to open the email to get most of the relevant information now kitna time bachega isse kyunki same cheez ko thoda sa elaborate karke niche likha hua except for getting this extension number they don't even have to open the email aapka subject line aapko sari information de raha hai and the precise nature of the headline serves as a useful prompt every time the reader glances at his saved emails he'll be reminded about that specific meeting 
सो मीटिंग का रिमाइंडर एक्चुअली वुड बी अ रिमाइंडर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट लाइन सो ये आपकी सही सब्जेक्ट लाइन है दैट इज द गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट लाइन मूविंग ऑन मेक वन पॉइंट पर ई मेल This is very important. Sometimes we have three or four different points to discuss. So we write to our boss or head of department and add five to seven different points in one email and hit send. And the head of department is, oh my God, how am I going to read all this? So that's uh, not uh, one thing that you are not supposed to do. You have to make one point per email. One of the advantages of email compared with traditional letters is that it doesn't cost any more to send several emails than it does to send one. So, if you need to communicate with someone about a number of different things, consider writing a separate email on each subject. Now, letters में जब आप एक छोटी सी बात एक letter में लिखेंगे, दूसरी दूसरे में लिखेंगे और उसे बार send करेंगे, that would cost you more. With email, it's not that. Uh, it uh, one email would cost you exactly the same as five emails would so why not send two three or four emails rather than one with a huge long piece of information jo ke padhne wale ko bahut tedious lagega that way your correspondent can reply to each one individually and in the appropriate time frame one topic might only require a short reply that he or she can send straight away another topic might require more research by writing separate messages you should get clearer answers while helping other people manage their inboxes better now when you send uh, emails that uh, make uh, separate points in separate emails it's very easy for you for your uh, receiver of the email for your correspondent to individually reply to those emails and uh, that would help you uh, in return because jo bhi aapko response unse chahiye hoga wo aapko milega for example one email uh, would be um, would require a quick uh, reply so wo jaise hi apna mailbox kholenge wo uh, three four lines ki email padhne ke baad they will quickly um, click on reply and uh, uh, they will send you the reply so you you will get the benefit and uh, Uh, another topic might require more research now the second email you might have sent um, would require some research some more reading or thoda sa koi meeting ya koi aisi cheez they might call you up for some questions by writing separate messages you should get clearer answers while helping other people manage their inboxes better so uh, email uh, uh, exchange is a kind of uh, uh, a reciprocal process the more you uh, write uh, better effective emails and send them out similarly the other the person who is receiving your emails will be having um, very less time or will uh, that it will consume a very less of their time to reply to your emails jitni achhi emails aap likh ke unko bhejenge simple or easy going um, uh, concise uh, aapka jo um, correspondent hai usse unhein reply karne mein time kam lagega if you do want to put several points in an email perhaps because they relate to the same project consider presenting each point in a separate numbered paragraph this makes each point stand out significantly increasing the likelihood that each point will be addressed if by any chance you have to write many different points in one email because they are related to one thing or one project you you try to put them in numbered paragraphs or bulleted points ya different unko alag alag highlight usme kare taki unko padha jaye aur unke upar jo kaam kiya jana hai wo ho as with traditional business letters uh, each individual email should be clear and concise with the purpose of the message detailed in the very first paragraph apart from the subject headline subject line you need to tell the reader what you want them to do or what your email is about in the first paragraph sentence uh, sentences should be kept short and to the point the body of the email should contain all pertinent information um, and should be direct and informative Now let's look at a bad example here. Subject revisions for sales report. Hi Jackie, thanks for sending in that report last week. I read through it yesterday and feel that you need more specific information regarding our sales figures in chapter 2. I also felt that the tone could be a bit more formal. The report is going to be read by our executive team and needs to reflect our professionalism. Also I wanted to let you know that I've scheduled a meeting with the PR department for this Friday regarding the new ad campaign. It's at 11 and will be in the small conference room. Please let me know if you can make that time. Thanks.
Monica and uh, um, in the end we see that uh, uh, the email is ended very well but there are two different points that are being made one is uh, the feedback on uh, the sales report that is the subject about or us subject ke andar hi unhone meeting ki email bhi kar di hai so do you think that these two points go together they don't because the meeting is about the new ad campaign and uh, the revisions in the sales report is one thing that they have mentioned in the subject so revision for sales report should be uh, one email and the meeting scheduled about the ad campaign should be the second uh, email now let's analyze this uh, email written by monica and see ke yahan par kya galat hai monica got a good headline in there and she was pretty clear on the changes she wanted jacky to make to that report now monica here regarding the report has been very very precise very correct she wants uh, the report to present specific information regarding sales figures in chapter 2 and then she also needs the tone to be more formal and uh, uh, show their professionalism but what did she do wrong kya galat kar diya hai usne well that second paragraph about the meeting is pretty important and yet she lumped it into the email that detailed the revisions if jacky doesn't put it straight in her calendar she'll have to remember that the meeting details were in the email titled revisions for sales report which is not very logical of course uh, ek meeting ka reminder aur meeting ki information aap de rahe hain uh, us email mein jiski subject line hai revisions for sales reports so that definitely is wrong that's totally illogical if uh, the person who is receiving jackie does not put that uh, email uh, meeting information into her calendar right then she will have to come back to this email and check the meeting time and everything combining these two important communications increases the chance that either the meeting or the revisions will be forgotten any one of these will definitely be forgotten because there are two important points that are being made in one email and the email is titled or subject kya hai revisions of the sales report let's look at how she could have done it better this is the good example subject revisions for uh, sales report Hi Jackie thanks for sending in that report last week i read through it yesterday and feel that you need more specific information regarding our sales figures in chapter 2 i also felt that the tone could be a bit more formal the report is going to be read by our executive team and needs to reflect our professionalism thanks for your hard work on this monica now this is the first point revisions for sales report uh, email ends here and we have the second email subject friday Uh, October 9 11 a.m. meeting with PR department Hi Jackie I wanted to let you know that I've scheduled a meeting with the PR department for this Friday uh, October 9 regarding the new ad campaign It's an uh, at 11 a.m. and will be in the small conference room please let me know if you can make that time Thanks Monica Now what they have done is they have picked up uh, one um, uh, important email usko ek स्लॉट में कर दिया और दूसरी का सब्जेक्ट लिख के फ्राइडे अक्टूबर नाइन इलेवन ए एम मीटिंग विद पी आर डिपार्टमेंट और दूसरा जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो इसमें डाल के सेंड कर दिया दिस दिस इज नॉट अ लॉन्ग ई मेल इट्स वेरी स्मॉल वेरी सिंपल पीस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इज बींग सेंट बट इन अ सेपरेट ई मेल बाई सेपरेटिंग दीज टू इम्पॉर्टेंट कम्युनिकेशन जैकी विल बी एबल टू फाइंड वट शी नीड्स क्विकली इन हर इनबॉक्स as well as this separating the two topics helps her uh, keep her saved emails relevant once she's done with the revisions email she can delete it but keep the meeting reminder email until the end of the week now the next uh, point to consider here is specify the response you want in any email that you send out you have to tell the reader what you want them to respond uh, uh, in a way uh, what uh, kind of response you expect from them <clears throat> so um that is very important uh, all emails should have a call for action and how they have to uh, receive that call for action make sure to include any call to action you want such as a phone call or follow up appointment then make sure you include your contact information including your name title and phone numbers uh, whenever you ask for a call for action you need to give your detailed phone numbers as well do this even with internal messages 
even with internal messages where it is understood that your colleagues uh, might have your email address or uh, your uh, phone numbers already with them still uh, attach your email address uh, attach your phone number with your email uh, so that the person can call you if they need you remember the easier you make it for someone else to respond the more likely they are to do so now you have to make uh, the response of your receiver easier towards you so that they do it then we have a bad example from reliable landscapes at domain.com subject is proposal Lynn did you get my proposal last week I haven't heard back and wanted to make sure can you please call me so we can discuss thanks Peter now from is this email address and this is a very very bad way of sending an email because um, such emails are considered as spam they they are sent into junk email folders and they are never read and reading through the email you have absolutely no idea what the proposal is about कुछ भी समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कि आप किस प्रपोजल की बात करें एंड देन वेन दे आस यू कैन यू प्लीज कॉल मी सो वी कैन डिस्कस दे हैव नॉट गिवन अ फोन नंबर बाय जस्ट गिविंग दिस ई मेल एड्रेस कैन समबडी कॉल देम एंड चेक देम अप और गिव देम द फीडबैक नो सो दिस इज अ वेरी बैड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर आइडिया टू स्पेसिफाई द रिस्पॉन्स यू वॉन्ट देर आर सेवरल पीसेज ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन मिसिंग फ्राम दिस ई मेल लेट्स सी वॉट दे आर द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट मिसिंग इज इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्रपोजल वॉट प्रपोजल आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट इफ लिन गॉट सेवरल प्रपोजल्स नाउ इफ लिन गॉट वन और टू अदर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रपोजल्स वॉट वुड शी हाउ वुड शी नो विच प्रपोजल दैट दिस पर्सन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट विच वन इज द राइट आर टॉकिंग अबाउट also did he send it by post or through email now we have no idea whether the proposal was received on an email by lin or by uh, post also the writer gave lin no information on how to get in touch where is his office number his cell number or his business name lin will have to go and find that information and lin might not have time to do that so she, the the email is missing important contact information as well and most critically he did not give his full name and title at the bottom of the mail despite the fact that his name does not form part of his email address now his email address is the domain name reliable landscapes jisme wo kaam karte hain ya kuch bhi lekin ka apna full name email mein kahin bhi mention nahi hai we have we just have peter we have no idea who has written the email Now let's look at the good example and see whether all these problems are solved or not. Subject checking on reliable landscapes proposal. You you have to say which proposal you are talking about so that looking at the subject, Lynn understands that this was the proposal that she received through email or through post about a week ago, and she has to give feedback about that. Dear Lynn, I just wanted to check that you have received the landscaping proposal I emailed to you last week. I haven't heard back and wanted to make sure it went through. Now uh, this is a lot more clearer. I just wanted to check that you have received the landscape proposal I emailed to you last week. Now the it was emailed, it was not posted. Can you please call me by Thursday so we can discuss by when do you want them to call? Call for action aapne bata diya. This is when our discount offer expires and I want you to make sure you don't miss it. Now when the landscape um, domain offers uh, reliable landscapes ऑफर uh, करें कोई ज़मीन लैंड uh, या कोई ज़मीन का हिस्सा पीस तो दे वॉन्ट दैट द डिस्काउंट ऑफर डज नॉट एंड फॉर द पर्सन दे आर टॉकिंग टू दैट इज़ लिन सो यहाँ पे उन्होंने एक इंसेंटिव भी दे दिया है कि अगर आप थर्सडे तक मुझे कॉल करेंगी तो डिस्काउंट ऑफर हमारा होगा एंड यू कैन गेट सम डिस्काउंट द क्विकेस्ट वे टू कॉन्टैक्ट मी इज़ बाई सेल फोन थैंक्स पीटर शुअल ओनर रिलायबल लैंडस्केपिंग इन कॉरपोरेटेड ऑफिस सेल दोनों फ़ोन नंबर्स जो हैं वो उन्होंने यहाँ पे मैंशन कर दिए सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी कम्युनिकेटिव सी वी आर वेरी शॉर्ट पैराग्राफ्स टू लाइन्स ईच एंड देन द थर्ड वन इज जस्ट वन लाइन एंड प्रॉपर स्पेसिंग के साथ आपकी जो ई मेल है वो कम्पोज की हुई है पर है पीटर हैज़ नाउ गिवन लिन ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन शी नीड्स शी नोज ही ई मेल द प्रपोजल लास्ट वीक दैट हीड लाइक हर टू कॉल एम बाई थर्सडे एंड दैट शी शुड यूज इज सेल फोन टू मेक कॉन्टैक्ट quickly the easiest way 
कि ऑफिस फ़ोन मत करें सेल फन फ़ोन पे कॉल कॉल करें और इफ दे ही दे हैव गिवन बोथ द फोन नंबर्स इफ द सेल फोन सम हाउ डज नॉट कनेक्ट तो आप फिर ऑफिस पे फ़ोन कर सकते हैं मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली पीटर इंक्लूडेड इज नेम एंड टाइटल सो लिन नोज हु ही इज एंड पुट हिज कॉन्टैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन एट द बॉटम Now another very important uh, concept uh, regarding effective emails is using EOM headlines. When you have a very short message to convey, you can use the EOM or end of message technique. EOM stands for end of message technique. This is possible when you can put all the relevant information in the subject line followed by the letters EOM. This lets the recipient know that he or she doesn't even have to open the email. All the information is right there. the subject line is the message so this is the easiest way for the other person to understand what you want to tell them and that is the most urgent way uh, to convey uh, information that is supposed to be uh, given to people in uh, in a very short span of time to aap jab pura jo email ka message hai wo short karke aap सब्जेक्ट में लिख देते हैं और एंड में लिख देते हैं ई ओ एम फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट्स रिमाइंडर ऑफ अ मीटिंग सब्जेक्ट अक्टूबर फाइव मीटिंग टेन ए एम कॉन्फ्रेंस रूम ए ऑन पास प्रोसीजर ई ओ एम सो रीडिंग द ई ओ एम वर्ड अब्रीविएशन एट द एंड द रिसीवर वुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे डोंट हैव टू ओपन द ई मेल द होल मैसेज इज द सब्जेक्ट लाइन सो so, उनका टाइम बचेगा वो सब्जेक्ट लाइन पढ़ेंगे अपने पास ईमेल का रिमाइंडर नोट कर लेंगे एंड दैट्स इट योर पर्पस इज फुलफिल्ड बी अ गुड कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट मेक श्योर दैट यू गो थ्रू योर इनबॉक्स रेगुलरली एंड रिस्पॉन्ड एज अप्रोप्रिएट दिस इज अ सिंपल एक्ट ऑफ कर्स एंड विल ऑल्सो सर्व टू इनकरेज अदर्स टू रिप्लाई टू योर ई मेल इन अ टाइमली मैनर ना मोस्टली इट इज सीन दैट पीपल लिविंग ऑफिस दे गो होम and uh, they hardly ever open their email boxes and sometimes over the weekend as well some very important emails are missed so what you do is ke aap email send karne ke baad uh, if you have the phone number of that person you text them as well that you have sent them this information you want this is response by a particular time so that they can check their mailbox because over the weekend people get busy they have so many other things to do it's very justified that they don't check check their mail but being a good professional inside the office keep checking your mailbox as frequently as possible because if you do that and uh, give regular replies to whatever emails are coming your way similar thing would be done to you people would be, would be replying to your emails as quickly as possible just like you have been doing so it would make your work easier if a detailed response is required to an email and you don't have the time to pull together the information straight away send a, a holding reply saying that you have received the message and indicating when you will respond fully if uh, you receive an email that needs a very detailed response some kind of research or some calls to be made to higher authorities or anything so tell uh, the other person a, a holding response a holding response is uh, or, or a holding reply is that you send out an email right there that i have received your email i am working on it and i'll get back to you as soon as i'm done तो यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट दिस और जैसे ही आप उन्हें ये बता दें कि आपका जब काम हो जाएगा आप उनको फुली रिस्पॉन्ड करेंगे बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम सो दैट दी अदर पर्सन रीड्स दैट ईमेल एंड दे नो दैट यू हैव रिसीव द ईमेल एंड यू आर वर्किंग ऑन इट How frequently you should check your mail will depend on the nature of your work but try to avoid interrupting a task you are working on to check your mail simply because you wonder if something interesting has come in It's not as urgent as that you don't have to interrupt some very important work that you are doing and come back and uh, check your email again and again because thinking that something interesting might have come up but uh, it's just that uh, you you have to keep checking it depending on the nature of your work if you you are uh, sitting in your office and you're having a cup of tea and uh, there is a little uh, a bit of break you can quickly open your inbox and see whether uh, the response to your particular emails has arrived or not All always set your out of office agent when you are going to be away from your email for a day or more whether on leave or because you are at meetings uh, out of office agent is uh, an option in your mailbox which tells the other person that that generates a uh, um an automatic email uh, telling the other person that you are not there uh, or aap uh, thodi der baad reply karenge for example when people go on vacation uh, they uh, generate or they uh, send out uh, an out of office or uh, on vacation email jo ke uh, 
कोई भी आने वाली ईमेल के रिप्लाई में ऑटोमेटिकली चली जाती है एंड द अदर पर्सन गेट्स टू नो दैट दिस पर्सन इज ऑन वेकेशन फ्रॉम दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम टू दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम एंड दे व्हेन दे कम बैक दे विल रिप्लाई सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड यूज ऑफ दिस दीज वेरियस इंटरेक्टिव ऑप्शन दैट आर ऑफर्ड इन योर मेल बॉक्सेस सो दिस फर्स्ट हैंड आउट वॉज बेसिकली um an overview of very important um, uh, elements uh, or effective uh, email writing tips if you follow all these you can be a very good email writer very communicative very uh, effective and um, these tips would also help you as a student because as a student you also have to communicate with your teacher and with the uh, your um, Uh, other uh, class fellows as well and um, with this um, uh, distance learning program you can also have uh, constant contact with your instructors and ask any questions that you need to now in this document we are going to talk about 15 tips for composing clear concise and responsive emails <clears throat> your emails are supposed to be clear concise and responsive responsive means emails that are asking for a response that that use language or tactics in a way that people respond to them quickly uh, because you you receive uh, so many of spam and junk emails that uh, you you are sick of them sometimes and uh, you just uh, don't like extra or uh, unnecessary emails uh, barraging your um, in inbox but uh, if you follow these 15 tips uh, of course the your receivers the, the those who you send your emails to your contacts in your mailbox would definitely be doing the same to you so let's start off with tip number 1 and go over to tip 15 and see uh, which tips you already know and which are the ones that you can apply to become good email writer number 1 determine your desired outcome and you have to see uh, what is the purpose of writing your email just li like all other technical communication in the previous lectures we talked about memos uh, and the most important thing that i kept on stressing was the analysis of your audience and the purpose of your writing a memo similarly it is important with emails as well you have to see what your desired outcome is why are you writing an email most people know roughly what they want but do not take the time to clearly think it through this is how we end up with ambiguous or rambling email without a clear understanding of our desired end results our thoughts are disorganized and we get easily confused the receiver now we roughly know sometimes uh, what we are uh, what we want what response we want from our emails but we we don't take out time to think clearly uh, ki hame kya response chahiye is email ko likhne ka fayda kya hai why are we trying to use the other person's time um, uh, for our benefit what is the benefit so uh, and we end up with ambiguous and rambling emails ambiguous means uh, that are not clear that have double meaning and rambling uh, again unclear and uh, not very precise and without a clear understanding of our desired results our thoughts are disorganized and we cannot send a very good email and we can confuse our receiver as well there are four basic types of emails self fulfilling emails the email itself is the point you want to tell the receiver something either a compliment or information you uh, no reply is necessary Now, self-fulfilling emails में आपका reply necessary नहीं होता uh, You just uh, tell the receiver uh, uh, about some information or you compliment them. Inquiries, you need something from the receiver in the form of a reply, for example, advice or questions answered. The reply is your desired outcome. And if you inquire something, तो वहाँ से जो reply आएगा वो आपका desired outcome है For example, you are you are sending an email to uh, 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 a clothes company asking for the prices or uh, shipping details of uh, one or two objects or uh, products to so, aap uh, uska reply aap expect karenge you will keep on uh, checking your mailbox again and again to see because you want to buy those products maybe you want to buy a suit you want to buy a cosmetic product you want to buy an oven or you want to buy a refrigerator or even you want to talk about uh, the negotiations of price on a car so um, you will definitely expect a reply open ended dialogue to keep communication lines open for the purpose of some future result or benefit now open ended dialogues are communication that that keeps on coming and going isme kisi particular response ki zarurat nahi hoti but they are these 
ای میلز کیپ کمنگ ود دا پیسج آف ٹائم آپ نے بھیجی دو مہینے پہلے اس کے دس پندرہ دن کے بعد دا رسپانس کیم دین یو روڈ سم تھنگ اباؤٹ اٹ اینڈ سینٹ اوور اینڈ دس اوپن اینڈ ڈائلاگ کیپس آن گوئنگ اوور لانگ پیریڈ آف ٹائم ایکشن ای میلز دا گول از ناٹ دا رپلائی بٹ سم ایکشن آن دا پارٹ آف دا ریسیور فار ایگزامپل اے سیلس پچ اور آسکنگ فار اے ویب سائٹ لنک ایکسچینج now action emails are mostly uh, done uh, over the internet these days uh, to uh, uh, enhance or to uh, put forward some sales pitch sales pitch uh, is uh, basically uh, trying to buy uh, sell something um, uh, trying to uh, like uh, sales people come to your doors and they they tell you about a product and also sales pitch is going on on the internet or aapko kisi kisam ka koi brochure aata hai that these are the sales products that we are selling so aap credit cards se payment kare and all these you, you can buy and all that and then asking for a, a website link exchange it's not the reply that is desired it is the action that is being taken ki kuch kaam karna hai aapko usse kehte hain action email which type of email are you sending what is your desired outcome so according to these four categories you are supposed to see ki aap email kaun si bhej rahe hain the clearer your intention the more focused you will be the better you can cater email for the intended result the more likely you will get your desired outcome so uh, the better you can uh, write a good email according to the intended result the more likely that you will get a good response number 2 is quickly uh, answers what's the point now if your email quickly answers the question uh, coming in the receiver's mind what is the point what is the email about whether with the help of the subject line or the first sentence of the email to wo email sabse achhi hoti hai people want to know what do you need from me answers this question quickly skip long introductions backgrounds compliments and details jump to the point state it clearly using minimal words this is very important because people talk start talking about long introductions and they hardly move over to the point though jo unhe point batana hota hai us pe wo teen paragraphs ke baad aate hain nobody wants to read that nobody has time to open up their mailbox and um, uh, open an email jisme point jo hai main point wohi teen paragraphs ke baad aa raha hai وہ پڑھیں گے ہی نہیں اس ای میل کو اف ایکشن از نیڈیڈ میک اٹ کلیئر واٹ دا ڈیزائرڈ ایکشن از فرام دا ریسپینٹ اینڈ اف نو ایکشن رپلائی از ایکسپیکٹڈ سی دیٹ نو رپلائی نیسیسری اٹ ول بی لائک میوزک ٹو دیئر ایئرس ناؤ یو ہیو ٹو ٹیل دیم ویدر یو ایکسپیکٹ اے رپلائی اور ناٹ اینڈ واٹ ایور یو وانٹ فرام دیم اسٹیٹ اٹ ان دا بگننگ ون اور ٹو لائنس اور ان دا سبجیکٹ لائن ڈونٹ ڈیلے اٹ نمبر تھری اسٹیٹ بینیفٹس کلیئرلی If a pitch is presented uh, make sure it includes many clearly stated easily understood benefits for the receiver uh, if you want to sell something over the internet or email bhej rahe hain aap to it is it should include clearly stated easily understood benefits uh, aap ki sales pitch ka uh, receiver ko kya benefit hoga you have to tell that to many pitchy emails uh, focus solely on the sender and why the action will benefit the sender if you don't present incentives or they are different difficult to understand the receiver will say no resulting in a waste of time for both now if you want to sell something through an email uh, you are supposed to uh, not talk about your uh, benefits you are supposed to talk about the receiver's benefit why should the receiver open up an email and uh, read about a sales pitch when they don't have any benefits uh, so try to make it uh, more uh, the receiver centered rather than uh, self centered also make sure the incentives are realistic the exchange is fair and uh, there truly are benefits to the receiver do your homework before contacting someone put yourself in their shoes would you act on the offer now these are the kinds of emails you might have to write when you get into professional life as student you have to write very clear very uh, mm, very simple and professional emails next one is remember to 
KISS. Now, this is uh, one thing that we talked about in our memo writing as well. It is keep it simple, silly. This again is a phenomenon that is supposed to be used in email writing as well. Isse bhi aapko simple rakhna hai. Your language, your words, your layout is supposed to be very simple so that the reader quickly understands what you want to talk about. When we send out a long email asking for something from the receiver that is time, favor, etc., we are essentially saying, I do not respect your time. Try to respect the other person's time because uh, you might have a lot of time to write a long email. They don't have time to read that email. Be very specific. Use shorter paragraph, paragraphs, smaller uh, sentences very specific information, bulleted points, even uh, um, uh, extra information, attachments send karke aap unko bataayin ki aapko kya chahiye. Show them you appreciate their time by making email short and simple to answer. Using as few words as possible, introduce who you are, context if necessary and why you are emailing. Being brief does not mean we have to be boring. We can be creative with our wording, add a dash of personality where you see fit but still be brief. Number five, save the whole story. Stick to the facts. People tend to say too much in email. Don't make emails too long. We feel compelled to describe all the details and disclose the whole of our existence so that the receiver can understand the whole picture. Truth is, unless you already know this person well, they really don't care. Now, if you know the person well, you can write a long email. They would definitely read it. If you don't know them, you're sending them, them the email either for the first or second time. Do not go into longer introductions. Be very brief. Give your own int introduction in the briefest way possible and then move on to the point unless asked you don't need to overly elaborate anything don't elaborate yourself or any other thing that is not required simply stick to the facts it will help you keep your message short pretend face to face intro now write in a way that the, as if you're sitting in front of the person and talking to them. If you just met someone new at a party, would you open your mouth first and give them a rambling story about your life? Probably not. Typically, we close our mouth after a quick intro. In email, stop talking, stopping talking is equivalent to hitting the send button. Now, uh, try to pretend face-to-face uh, -face introduction means that you you have to be very very uh, specific about what you want to talk about and uh, don't bring in information that is totally unnecessary aap kisi insaan se pehli dawa milte hain to aap apni zindagi ki kahani unko batana nahi shuru kar dete you just give a brief introduction about yourself that's how you have to do it if through an email aap uh, um, kisi se pehli dawa baat kar rahe hain to usme bhi be brief. Be very, very uh, composed and elegant. Bahut thi thodi information de aur unse uh, ek do questions puche and that's it. And uh, stop talking and it is like hitting the send button. It means that the less you talk, the more you send the email, uh, email and it would be short and crisp. Text message trick. Uh, when we are on mobile devices like the Blackberry or our cell phones, we lack the fu fluidity of the computer keyboards and as such we get the points really fast. Now pretend you are on a mobile device, what would your message be now? Now this is also a very good tip um, to make your message short. What you can do is that you, you, you can pretend that you are on your mobile device. While texting or while sending a message, we usually cut our spellings short. and. Um, uh, by doing that, uh, we, we make a message very short as compared to an email. So uh, by using that trick, what you can do through email, uh, in an email is that uh, you can keep your emails very short and that would help uh, the uh, person who is receiving the email a lot because uh, they would be happy to read a very short email. So, uh, but this trick cannot be used for professional emails. You simply cannot send an email to your teacher or your boss uh, in a text message style. And uh, sometimes students uh, send an email uh, in Urdu, that is in Roman Urdu and uh, um, that also uh, is not a good impression because a teacher needs you to write an email in English. Number eight, avoid excessive compliments. Some people have the idea that the more compliments they throw out, the more likely the receiver will comply with their offer, need or pitch. Please don't be complimentary. Don't do this because people don't like this. They, they mind it. If you're writing uh, an email to your head of department and you are uh, again and again complimenting them about something that would uh, 
um, sound like um, more of sucking up it it'll be like flattery there is a difference uh, between being genuine and saying what's on your heart and going out of your way to compliment someone we humans are exceptional at detecting unauthentic phrasings and remarks even in email now human beings are very very clear about what the other person is saying and how genuine it is so don't compliment too much compliment only if you really mean it and remember to be brief if you need action from the receiver compliment only if you really mean it and remember to be brief if you need action from the receiver be very brief if you want something that that they that that you want them to do for you don't compliment because that would ultimately be termed as flattery number 9 be personal and person personable personalize email with relevant remarks to the receiver put in a quick comment about their site product or work address the person by name sign email with your own name and a friendly comment like enjoy your weekend this is a very good uh, uh, idea uh, uh, so receiving an email from uh, your head of department Uh, saying that uh, um sorry to bother you over the weekend uh, i need you to do this 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 over the weekend and uh, thank you very much for your cooperation in uh, enjoy your weekend and uh, a bit of a smiley that really makes your day that would definitely boost up your confidence that the person has called you to do this work and they they trust you they rely on you so uh, this is how we go we make it personal personal and personable be a little bit personal as well and uh uh be closer to the person be a little bit friendly not too much but a little bit make it easy to be found in your signature include appropriate urls for your website blog portfolio or product make sure the links are functional so they can read more about you in one click if you want to send out an information of the website uh, on which your profile is found uh, send out correct urls and uh, if it is necessary if it's not uh, most of these tips might be skipped use simple english there is no need to use lofty expression and uh, um, a whole lot of big dictionary words when the writing is too formal or uses irrelevant technical lingo it is difficult for layman to understand plus you come off sounding like a legal document or spammer neither is good write like you talk using conversational english in email and in memo conversational english is very important be authentic and realistic trying to sound professional will come off as if you are trying to sound professional use your real voice it's more endearing and approachable be who you are be simple be clear as a student talking to a teacher be a little bit respectful but be very informal and very friendly similarly a teacher can also send out a reply about an assignment about revisions on an assignment about the deadlines of an assignment or a quiz or um, about the expectations uh, from their students about the exams uh, uh, in a very friendly way so use simple english number 12 font matters there is nothing worse than opening an email and become blinded by the brightness elicited by all the words displaying in bold it makes me want to instantly close the email for the sake of protecting my eyes now don't make your email full of colors and highlighting everything underlining and putting in loads and loads of smileys and other um uh, me, uh, multimedia things and don't don't just don't do this because uh, this would definitely bring out a repulsive response from the reader as soon as they open it should be simple black and white writing thoda sa font ko bada kar sakte hain lekin usko itna barik मत करेंगे और से पढ़ना पड़े और बहुत बड़ा मत करेंगे वो आंखों में चुभने लगे बिकॉज बहुत ज्यादा देर कंप्यूटर पे बैठकर भी यू फील अनकंफर्टेबल एंड द पर्सन हु इज रिसीविंग सच एन ईमेल फ्रॉम योर साइड माइट हैव बीन सिटिंग ऑन द कंप्यूटर फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम दे माइट हैव ऑलरेडी हैड देयर फील ऑफ दैट डे सो डोंट डू दिस इतना ब्राइट अपने उसको राइटिंग को मत करें कि वो पढ़ा ना जाए अल्टरनेटिवली फॉन्ट्स दैट आर टू स्मॉल टू लार्ज और अदरवाइज हार्ड टू रीड दैट इज एट पॉइंट टाइम्स रोमन फॉन्ट ऑल बोल्ड दैट्स वेरी टाइम्स न्यू रोमन फॉन्ट दैट इज एट पॉइंट एंड ऑल बोल्ड इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रीड मेक्स अस नॉट वॉन्ट टू रीड द ई मेल एज वेल वी वेयर ऑफ योर फॉन्ट्स इन योर प्रेजेंटेशन do not bold the entire email use easy to read fonts arial is the easiest to read then you have verdana as well georgia is also a very good font uh, and uh, calibri that is in the newer word for uh, word processors of uh, ms word 2007 uh, you have a calibri font that is 
very very clear and uh, easy to read use all these and use a standardized size that is 11 or 12 that is very easy to handle do not use extravagant colors since they don't work well on all monitors and can be hard to read yes and with professional emails you simply are not supposed to do this don't send an email to your head of department with loads and loads of colors don't send an email to your teacher or your supervisor sending out your research proposal with such colors don't do that number 13 formatting matters make emails easy to read and quick to scan by using bullet points numbered lists and keeping paragraphs short highlight keywords bold or italic for example emphasis without overdoing it now formatting also matters you have to give spaces between your paragraphs your paragraphs are supposed to be uh, compressed they are supposed to be very very short or her paragraph ke baad space dein agar kisi important baat ko highlight karna hai to bold ya italic kare colors mein highlight nahi kare because this would help the reader uh, read through the email smoothly and easily or bullets points or numbered points mein likhe uh, baaton ko number 14 minimize questions ask questions that matter and limit the number of questions and favors you ask in uh, um, an email one or two maximum yes if one email one or two favors that's all don't ask too many questions and too many favors in one email the more questions especially open-ended ones asked in one sitting the less likely you are to get a response and the less likely all your questions will be answered if you ask five seven different questions in one email uh, the receiver might not be able to answer all of them in one go uh, for example you ask your head of department about the vacation time about the rotation leaves about uh, the ramadan timings about uh, uh, the start of the next semester and about the your noc request in one email she or he would never be able to respond as quickly as you expect them to so keep two questions per email and with a little bit gap according to the importance of the questions so that the other person can have time to answer your email also ask specific questions instead of a general open-ended ones be reasonable and thoughtful when asking don't expect the recipient to solve all our life problems for example how can i get rich quick how can i become successful these these are the stupid questions that people might sometime ask are too broad break them down into specifics and ask the one question that really matters you can send additional questions in separate emails key is in keeping the line of communication open by not overwhelming the receiver this these are just examples of some ridiculous questions used nobody would ask such questions it's about professional email as well if you are you want to ask your teacher about an assignment uh, and a quiz keep the assignment questions in one email and the quiz questions in one email so that would help your teacher to answer the questions easily Number 15, the last email writing tip is trimming of words. Like grooming garden, read through the finished email and trim out words, sentences and paragraphs that do not contribute towards your desired result. Check for potential ambiguities and unclear thinking. Can you rephrase sentences for clarity using fewer words? Check for excess commentary that doesn't add to the email's main point. Remove extra details disclosed unnecessarily. And last but not the least, your uh, tip for effective email writing is uh, that reread or proofread your email uh, before sending. Don't hit the send button unless you haven't read the email twice. Uh, it is uh, like grooming of a garden, going into an overgrown garden, cleaning it up. It really looks nice. Uh, go through your email and trim out words. You'll be extra words, sentences. You've written some wrong words. You've said 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 some wrong words. Any ambiguous or unclear details that you have added, just take them out. Anything that you didn't want the other person to know but you have mentioned there, uh, discard that. Rephrase any words that lacks clarity. And then check for excess commentary. Sometimes uh, what you do is you start talking and you keep talking about that particular thing for 5-7 lines. Usko delete kar dein, usko bilkul short kar ke commentary ek do lines ki kar dein. If anything that is disclosed unnecessarily, delete that as well because that might be a shock for your reader now let's look at this case study this morning i received this little gem in my inbox bold and everything now look at this this box um may ye email receive hui hai kisi ko uh, all bold bahut chota sa font hai lekin ye pura ka pura bold hai aur ye aankho mein chub raha hai iski brightness aapko bahut zyada um 
हर्ट करती है बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट हाउ यू आर सपोज टू राइट ई मेल ऑल दोज फिफ्टीन टिप्स अगर आप उनमें से दो तीन को यहाँ अप्लाई करें तो अभी आपको हमने थोड़ी देर पहले बताया दैट ऑल बोल्ड स्टाइल्स बिल्कुल यूज uh, मत करें सब्जेक्ट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर ऑफर्स फॉर आर डेटा बेस लाओ वी हु वी आर offers for our database what offers what database we have no idea so uh, this would be analyzed my first in, uh, instinctive reaction was uh, what the hell what is this what is going on what what is this email now uh, i uh, actually stopped reading the moment the email flashed open because my eyes hurt from the brightness of the bold fonts my follow up questions were what do you need from me what the heck are you selling what should i care after reading it about 5 times i'm still confused as to what they do or what action uh, what action items i can take aside from giving up my phone number which i would never do now let's read this email and uh, see ke yahan kaha kya ja raha hai or what is wrong with it greetings tina i represent a well known internet company that has a substantial database of clients and prospects over 20000 we are looking for over companies other companies or business units that would like to explore promoting their offers to our database and reciprocate by allowing us to promote our uh, offer to their subscribers it is my understanding that this may be something that would be of interest to you our website address is www and that has been deleted if you are interested in discussing this please contact me at i will also follow up this email with a call if you include a number when you reply otherwise feel free to contact me at the number below i look forward to talking with you about our proposal now it's about a database that uh, the domains can use the other companies can use and they have changed uh, this uh, email uh, after reviewing uh, their 15 uh, tips above and um, the more effective email would be subject opportunity for free traffic hi tina i am writing on behalf of you have to give the, your web url here we make it easy for bloggers to network with one another see they have used specific words to help understand what the email is about upar wali email mein it was very very unclear uh, what the person is trying to say our site gets uh, x monthly page views uh, you can give the number here just having your website listed in our network will expose it to many new readers here are some websites currently in our community list of related and well known websites joining takes less than 5 minutes and you will love the results let me know if you have any questions name company name site url this is how these 15 tips are going to um, help you um apply uh, all this information to your emails and see whether uh, you fit into the category of a good email writer or not or where or what are the areas where you need to improve yourself now here are the take home tips no rambling stories or long intros get to the point quickly next action clearly stated present benefits fonts and formatting matters review for uh, conciseness simplicity and clarity one question per email be yourself that is the concise version of yourself be short be specific and be uh, conversational use very simple english uh, uh, present benefits of what you are talking about and then uh, state what action you want the other person to take don't ramble don't give long stories don't give long introductions because that would be tedious for the reader to read now this was all about the 15 tips uh, on uh, email writing I hope it gave you a very clear idea what emails are composed of how you can improve improve your email writing skill Now to revise what we did today we talked about um what uh, an email is uh, we talked about the anatomy of an email how email addresses are formed um, what are the uh, what is the header of an email um, uh, to from cc bcc and all these things and then basics of an email and we also talked about 15 very important tips to writing effective emails and by applying those tips to your own email writing skill you can quickly analyze how good an email writer you are 
here we are at the end of lecture number 25 uh, i hope um, this lecture has given you a very clear idea what email writing is in the next lecture lecture inshallah we're going to talk about some more details about email writing till then thank you very much we'll see you again